Linex is a low-tech tool with a high impact. Even the U.S. government is protecting its defense assets with what's being dubbed anti-terror spray. Four, three, two, one. This frightening video was given to Fox 35 by a company that makes Linex. It's simulating what can happen to someone if a bomb were to go off near an office. This dummy, of course, has problems. This one, placed in an identical office next door, seems to make it through the blast just fine. What's the difference? Before the explosion, the wall that survives was sprayed with Linex, a blast-proof paint. We'll test it ourselves using a cement block covered in the stuff. Up 30 feet in the air, thanks to Freddy and his bucket truck. Over the edge, and... Before we see what happens, let's tell you what we learned about the product. Linex began as a spray for the beds of pickup trucks to prevent dings and scratches. It's rubbery and touted as stronger than steel, yet elastic, so it flexes and takes the brunt of an explosion. It's the only coating approved by the U.S. Air Force for anti-terrorism bomb blast mitigation. To know that what we're doing now has the potential to save lives there, it's very, very important to me. In a typical bomb blast, 80% of the casualty comes from fragmentation of the building. And that's the concept behind Line X, containing the fragments and increasing the exit time for the occupants of the building. It's pretty indestructible. James Paul owns Line X of Orlando. Locally, his team is busy spraying ambulances and Black Hawk helicopters for the U.S. military. It's just our way of doing our small part, you know, uh, uh, to, help our, uh, to help our soldiers overseas. Back to our test. We had a cement block sprayed with Linex. James recommended taking it no higher than 20 feet for the drop. We ignored that and went 32 feet in the air. A regular cement block crumbles to pieces. The Linex block bounced like a ball and remained intact. I'm impressed. Want to do it? If you want. Let's do it. All right. With nothing to lose, we shot up to 55 feet in Freddy's bucket truck and watched as our anti-terror sprayed block plunged to the ground. It bounced twice as far, and yup, still intact. Unbelievable. Wow. So the stuff seems to work, but it's not cheap. It can cost up to $50 a square foot. For example, if we were to spray the studio doors here at Fox 35 News, it would cost about $5,000. But you don't need to spray the entire building, just the areas that might be vulnerable to an attack. Back to you.